my very great pleasure to introduce to you this afternoon His Excellency Professor Hager, the High Commissioner from uh, Nigeria to Canada. His Excellency is a Nigerian writer, poet, and playwright. He taught drama and conducted research in African indigenous theaters at the Amadou Bello University Zaria and the University of Jos. He became Professor of Theater and Drama for Development in 1990. Professor Hager has played an active role as an artist and change activist in Nigeria, being one of the architects of the use of theater for development and in harnessing theater to challenge corruption and bad governance. He served for nearly two decades in the Nigerian government, and in 2003 he was awarded the national honor for his contributions in the arts and philanthropy as Office of the Order of Nigeria. He was appointed, sorry, appointed Nigeria's ambassador to Mexico from 2004 to 2007 with concurrent accreditation to Panama, Costa Rica, and Guatemala. And in 2008, he left for chillier climes like Ottawa to become Nigeria's High Commissioner to Canada. In both places, His Excellency has actively promoted Nigeria's soft power and cultural diplomacy using theater, drama, and poetry to enhance bilateral relationships between Nigeria and the other countries that he's lived in and visited. We're very fortunate to have him here with us at Western this afternoon, so will you please join me in welcoming His Excellency to the podium. It is a special pleasure and honor to be here in this much celebrated university, the Northwestern. You are one of the leading universities in Canada and in the world. I have a very strong belief that the world is marching between disaster and education. And the global challenges we are seeing today, we need to now acquire a certain education which we don't have now that will prepare us for an unseen future, which is not apparent now, but which will become a pressing necessity for all of us. And the universities must increasingly become more of universes and that every country must open up its gates so that the universities will become boundary spanners. And as I speak to you about building bridges and the nature of bridges itself is that the foundation for a bridge must be on each bank. Therefore, there is a responsibility for both countries to provide such a solid foundation. And then we can do a cantilever across the chasm, the chasm of misunderstanding, the chasm of prejudice, the chasm of ignorance, the chasm of time and space, and the various challenges that face mankind today. I believe that it is when two countries consciously decide to partner in education that those countries can actually meaningfully say we have a robust international relation, we have a robust relationship. Because education is the transmission of one culture to another. It is moreover a transmission of knowledge of one generation to the other. And therefore, as we prepare for the next great generation in Nigeria and Canada that is able to confront the realization that has taken place today in the world, that there is no single 
person, no single race, no single community that today can say it is totally isolated from another one. You will find the other as your neighbor on the streets of London, in the streets of Lagos, Ibadan, Jos, Abuja. If anything happens, if a terrorist attack, you will find that at the end there are people from every race in the world. If there is an air missile, you will find out that there are people from all over. The world has become so small and so insular, so, insular, so small that <coughs> everything that affects any one of us affects everybody on the planet. And uh, I, I found a manifestation of this recently during the World Energy Conference that was taking place in Montreal. And the Canadian astronauts up in the space suddenly wanted to talk to us and they showed us a map of the world in the night. And I could not believe that Nigeria was most brilliantly lit up. And this is not true. It was from private generators. And I was shocked that Nigeria could be so. So we live in a world that is so small, but perception is covering and creating chasm, creating rivers of misunderstanding, creating large gaps of understanding. And these chasms need to be filled up. They need to be transversed. Uh, they need to be crossed. And there's no better system than education to cross that, a solid foundation on either side. So my purpose of talking to you is to highlight the educational challenges that my country, Nigeria, has and the need for Nigeria to partner with Canada to achieve a synergy. Which synergy will enable Canada, like Nigeria, to benefit so that Canada, which is a very rich country, but which is a country that has set for itself a very unique agenda in the world to be a country that stands for values, values of human rights, values of multiculturalism, values of diversity, values of decency in human behavior. That when we achieve this bridge, all of us will walk away, crossing and traversing into each territory, confident that we have achieved and taken the marriage to the human uh, progress a little bit further than we found it today.